Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to request the permissions at runtime in an Android application. So that on allowing those permissions, user can enable some features in the app which uses the sensitive info or files from the device. If the user denies a permission that a feature needs, then your app should act accordingly. This flow I am going to explain in this video clearly. So please watch till the end. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. As explained in the Android developer page, we need to follow this workflow for declaring and requesting runtime permissions. So the first step is declaring the permission in the app's manifest file. So go to the app, open Android manifest file and declare the permission as per your requirements. For example, if your app is using Android speech recognizer API, then you need to declare record audio permission. Or if your app is using location services API, then you should be declaring location permissions. Here I am declaring record audio permissions to show you the workflow. Then the next step is designing the app UX and wait for the user to request a specific action. So in my app, I am going to show the flow for runtime permissions on clicking this button. So let me handle on click action for the button. So on click of the button, I want to request the runtime permissions that required for accessing the data. So create a method called request runtime permission and call it here. To request the runtime permission, first we need to check whether the user has already granted the runtime permission that the app requires. If so, the app can access the private user data through the API. If not, we should check whether the app should show the rational to the user. Okay, call check self permission of permission. Let's declare this permission as private variable because we are going to use this permission variable many times in this process. Okay, manifest.permission.recordaudio. Now check whether the permission granted or not. He, okay, here I am getting an error to surround with SDK version check because this runtime permissions are introduced from Android API 23 that is Marshmallow. So to avoid this check, we can call activity compat.check self permission, which handles this versioning automatically. So if the permission is granted, means your app can access that particular API. Let's show a toast message saying permission granted. If permission not already granted, we should show a rational message to the user. Means app should explain why it needs the user to grant a particular runtime permission, what data the app is trying to access and what benefits the app can provide to the user if they grant the permission. So check else if condition activity compat dot should show request permission rational of this comma permission. Here we should show the rational message to the user. Else we can request for the permission directly. So handle else case request permissions of this comma. Here we can uh, pass multiple permissions to the string array but here I am passing only one permission that is record audio and then pass request code. This can be any integer value but make sure you don't duplicate with your existing other activity request codes. Okay, now handle permission rational. For that, let's create alert dialog builder and set message to the builder object. This app requires record audio permission for particular feature to work as expected. Set title as permission required. Set cancelable false. And set positive and negative buttons. Positive button OK with on click listener. So on acknowledging the permission rational, app should request for permission again. So add request permission statement and dismiss the dialog. Then handle negative button cancel. Here we will just dismiss the dialog because the app should not take any action on cancelling rational message. Finally add builder.show. So this flow is completed. Now let's handle on permission result. For that override the method on request permission result. 
In this method, we will first check whether the user granted the permission or not. So check the request code equal to permission request code and check the grant results array. If length greater than 0 and the first value of the results is permission granted, then app can use the API which requires the permission to access the private user data. So here I will show the toast message. Then let's handle else condition means user has denied the permission request. In this case, as per the developer page, app should gracefully degrade the feature so that the app provides the functionality to the user without the information which is protected by that permission. But if your app is fully dependent on this feature and without allowing this permission, if the app is not going to work, then you can request the user to allow that permission by going to the app settings screen in the device. So here we will check if the app should not show request permission rational, then show the alert dialog with settings option. Okay, create alert dialog builder, add the message saying this feature is unavailable because this feature requires permissions that you have denied. Please allow microphone a record audio permission from settings to proceed further. And set title permission required, set cancelable false, set negative button cancel. On clicking cancel, we will just dismiss the dialog. No action will be taken. Now add positive button settings. On clicking this, we should open device settings screen for our app. So for that, first create an intent with action application detail settings. Add URI with our package name and set intent data URI. Now call start activity of intent. Then dismiss this dialog on click of settings button. Finally call dialog builder dot show. So if user denies the permission and should not show rational, we handle the dialog. Else we will call the request runtime permission again. So handled all the conditions. Now let's run the project. Okay, click on the button. See the system dialog is shown. Here user can either select while using the app or only this time options means user allowed the permission. If user selects don't allow then rational message is shown which is handled in request runtime permission method. On cancel user cannot access the feature. If user tries to access the API again same rational message is shown. On clicking OK, app should request for the permission again. Again, if user don't allow, then rational should not be shown. So user is asked to allow the permission by going to settings. If user cancels this message and click on the button again, then same alert is shown. So if user wants to access the feature, then user can go to app settings and allow microphone permissions. So after allowing the permissions from settings, if user click on this button once again, then the toast message is shown uh, saying permission granted. System dialog is shown differently in different Android versions. For example, I have selected API 28 here. If I click on that runtime permission, then you can see system message showing differently. So if I click on don't ask again, then alert is shown with the settings option. So on, on going to the app settings and enabling microphone settings, you have granted the permission manually. See on clicking this permissions button, toast message is displayed. So this way you can handle runtime permissions in your Android applications. If you think this video is helpful, please like the video, comment and subscribe to IREKA Tech Solutions. Thank you.